You are a Pitch Wars mentor yourself, right? Yes, I have been uh, a mentor with my friend uh, Remy Lai, who is also a middle grade author. Um, we've co-mentored for the past three years. And so that, that brings you that, that joy and satisfaction that you're going to help somebody else achieve that same, ah, running around the house moment. Uh, and they're yes, it's absolutely, um, I feel like we want to pay it forward because we received so much from the whole um, Pitch Wars mentorship, but also the community. We made amazing friends. Like I am still really good friends with so many people from my Pitch Wars group. It was amazing. And, you know, I will say this much as a mentor, because we, we make this clear look, we cannot guarantee that everyone is going to get an agent and a book deal out of this. Like that's not, that's, that's not something we have any control over, but we, what we can guarantee is that um, you're going to become a better writer, that you're going to learn how to revise, that you're going to know how to read an edit letter and what to, you know, what to do with it. And you're going to have a stronger manuscript by the time uh, your mentorship is over. And I should also add that you're going to make a whole bunch of friends and I'm talking about mentee friends but also like your mentor friends because literally I can't let go of any of my mentees I'm like we're still friends tell me what's going on what's going on with writing and not writing and all that stuff <laughs> you just build a whole community um good for you good for uh good 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 for uh writing in general and good for all the authors that are are receiving um, that benefit. So um, aside from, you know, the obvious thing, write a good, write a good pitch, write a good manuscript, what are some of the most common mistakes that you find some of your mentees making that you can help them uh, correct? So I will say for when we're choosing mentees for pitch wars, um, you know, we're under some time pressure, right? We're talking about like a three month window, basically, that we get to work with someone. So it's not a lot of time. And so for us, especially, we're looking for people who know how to write. So the things that we can fix, we can fix plots. We can fix, like, you know, tweak your characterization to make sure that you're like, you know, e explaining things correctly. We can help you figure out your character's arc. And, um, you know, they're starting here and they're ending up here and like, how did they grow in between? Um, but uh, we, don't have time in three months to um, teach somebody how to write. So what I would say is that, you know, working on the craft of writing, like a sentence level craft, um, uh, understanding, uh, you know, what the, what the purpose of a scene is, um, kind of understanding, even if you are a pantser, so somebody who doesn't like to plot ahead of time, um, after you've written something, how do you then <laughs> figure out what the plot should be? You don't have to know it ahead of time, but you should know it when you're revising. Um, and, uh, you know, just like basic skills, you know, all that stuff we learned in school that some of us didn't really like, you know, including grammar. <laughs> those things matter. And uh, because those are the things that um, if you are already a really good writer, uh, we can help fix all the rest of it, but um, we need people to be at that at that level where you know um, that the person can handle the kind of feedback that that we're going to give.